Jason here. Me and Big Jack just got back from Valdosta. It's about three o'clock in the morning. My ear has been chewed, slap off both sides of my butt, and uh, I have slipped and fell in the tears from all the turbo guys on the way here, and I'm tired of hearing it. So I was fresh in my mind. I wanted to go over some key points of physics and drag racing for some of the, uh, what do we call it, the impaired. All right, this, just for illustration, this is not the scale. Uh, we're gonna just call this your basic drag strip. We'll call this the starting line. Here's the finish line. Here's half track. We'll call this the 330. Now, drag strip is eighth mile, of course, in the United States. It's 660 feet long, unless you are in Huntsville, uh, Alabama. All right, now, the starting lines here, this is where you want to hit the gas and try to apply the most power you can if you want to cover this distance in the fastest amount of time. Now, all you turbo queers, right about here, you decide that you want to shut off the little waist dingleberry gate valve and bailed the boost and go 205 miles an hour out here and 119 out the back hell yes i just want to let you guys know that if you'll if you'll take off here at the starting line your car will run faster you know the faster you get to here the faster you run here so all this crap i hear about the nitrous cars need 150 pounds 300 pounds i'm gonna call donald in the morning and i'm gonna tell him that for february we want no minimum weight for turbo cars I want all y'all crybaby bitches to come in there as light as you can get. That way I don't have to hear no crying when I come in here and donkey stomp your ass into the dirt. Stevie Jackson, see you soon.